everyone. Welcome again to Sunday School. I'm out here in the cloister garden next to our sanctuary and I'm hearing the sound of the traffic passing by. I'm standing in front of the fountain. It's not working right now, but it is filled with water. And here I have a net. And I'm sure you're wondering, what am I up to this Sunday? Well, let me tell you, I'm up to Jesus as he called his first disciples, the, the apostles, the one who's, who are going to be teaching us and the reason why we gather today as a worshiping community known as Plymouth Congregational Church. And so if you would join me, please, just in a moment of prayer. Oh, dear God, be with us now as we hear this story of your son, Jesus, calling the very first disciples whom will walk with him and learn with him so that they may spread the good news so that this very day we hear it and we are compelled. That means we are moved to also share the good news of God's love with everyone. Amen. Thank you, friends. And now let's just jump right into this story of spreading the good news. And it's based on the gospel according to Mark, chapter one, verses 14 to 20. Now I'm gonna need your help and I'm gonna have one to trust that you're listening very carefully. So in this story, I want you to do a couple of moves with me. So let's practice. Every time you hear the words, God's love, I want you to cross your hands over your heart or over your chest, just like this, God's love. And then when you hear the word time, it was time, I want you to tap your wrist like you were looking at a watch that might have been on your hand. It was time, you're gonna tap your wrist. And then as we are fishers, when you hear the word fishers, think of a net going overboard and we are scooping in the fish. So cast your net or cast your fishing rod. Okay, are we ready? I know we are. So let's go, listen carefully, and remember the cues. It was time. Jesus knew deep down inside that it was time to tell everyone, everyone about God's love. And so Jesus heard God's spirit calling to him. Are you ready to spread the good news? Hurry, hurry, there's no time to lose. So Jesus, he walked all over Galilee, telling the good news to everyone he met. Imagine Jesus walking from Miami to West Palm Beach. That's, that's where he was walking. Between Miami and West Palm, he was walking all over telling everyone about God's love. I have a message for you, Jesus called out. God's love is for everyone. Turn to God and follow in God's loving ways. Well, people, they were so glad to hear about God's love that many people, they decided to follow in God's loving ways. Telling about God's love was a very big job. So many people wanted to hear the good news. I need helpers, thought Jesus. I can't do this all alone. Who can help me? Well, Jesus, he walked along the Sea of Galilee and he was watching and suddenly he saw that there were fishers at their boats and they were mending their nets. And Jesus thought, wow. He saw Simon and Andrew. They were brothers and they were fishers. Yes, they were. And so the brothers had talked long hours with Jesus. Friends called Jesus, follow me. I will make you fishers of people, not of fish. You will bring people close to God by telling them about God's love. Well, Simon and Andrew, they heard God's spirit calling. Are you ready to spread the good news? Hurry, hurry, there's no time to lose. So in a flash, the brothers, they just left these nets behind and they followed their friend Jesus. Farther along the beach, they came to James and John. 
these two brothers, they were fishers also. And Jesus called to them. He said, friends, friends, follow me, follow me. And I will show you how to be fishers for people, telling them all about God's love. <gasps> James and John, they too heard God's calling spirit. Are you ready to spread the good news? Hurry, hurry, there's no time to lose. So they too, they left their boats, they left their nets, and they followed Jesus. And from that day on, the lives of these four fishers were completely changed. They had a new job to do. Now it was time to help Jesus spread the good news to everyone about God's love. Sometimes they shouted the good news. God loves you to, to a crowd. And sometimes they whispered it softly to just one person. God loves you. God loves you. Sometimes they didn't say a word, but showed God's love by helping others. Slowly, slowly, the good news of God's love spread across the countryside, across the planet, to everyone. God's love is for you and for me, for everyone. Amen.